What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way, I will not surrender I will do my best until I get put under What if I go stronger? I'm coming to you today bare face because I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial for y'all so let's hope you enjoy this bye bye hey guys sorry I didn't talk during this part that I totally forgot to and my first intention was to do just a voiceover but then I changed my mind so that's why I didn't tell you this part but I am putting the shadow insurance by Tiffany's on both of my eyes pretty easy I'm sorry, I don't really show you. I was using a hand mirror because I couldn't find my bigger mirror. So yeah, that's why. <laughs> okay, first I'm going to start with... This color up here and then we'll see how it goes I'm using this brush doing a little bit and then I'm gonna put it right here on my brow make sure everything looks nice and even Let's put at least a little bit, like two layers. Next, this brown right here. I'm using this brush. Okay. I'm getting this in top of the crease, right on top, not in it, but on top. Get that right there. Look at that. Then we're gonna go in with this blending brush by Wet n Wild. And blend. A little bit harsh. Next, we're getting this color right here, right beside the one we just used, the one right here. And we're using a different brush for that one. We're using one a little bit smaller. Hmm. Using this one right here, it's a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm back with the with the way I'm wild brush to blend it out. And blend. And there we go. It's gonna look a little darker. Um you can either stop here or keep on going. I'm gonna keep on going make it a little bit darker. I'm gonna use this black right here. But it's not really black, it's more of a gray. And with this one, I'm getting my smallest 
shadow brush. We'll thin it so I'm getting it right there. Tapping it and you go right in the groove. Now, mm -hmm. you can clearly see that's a harsh line. Okay, get my blending brush. Next, I'll be going in with this light purple right here. For that one, I'm going to use a normal flat shadow brush. Get it a little. Just got the excess. Right in the lid. Just gonna use the brush and make sure everything's blended right. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go back in with this black right here. The smaller brush. Tap it off, and I'm gonna go under the waterline. Next, I'm going to do my waterline. I have a cool eyeliner. Now, I'm not going all the way in. I'm just going halfway where our eyeshadow stops. Right there. Next, we're going to do eyeliner I'm using a liquid eyeliner I'm gonna try my best to do this on camera probably not gonna happen Next mascara. I'm going in with my Better Than Sex mascara. This is a uh, traveling size because I know I'm never gonna finish a full size in this three months. Here's a pro. 
supposed to replace it. I really don't use um fake eyelashes every day. I only use it on special occasions since my eyelash is already. Next, I'm going with my Kat Von D primer. I'm running very long. And then you dry. Okay. We're going with the Cover All Cream Foundation from Wet n Wild. I am the shade shade fair light. My foundation brush. I would use a beauty blender, but since my skin is oily. Um, when I put the water, kind of um, makes the oils worse later on, so it doesn't really last like that. And I'm just mixing it with the other one. We're going in with the coverall pressed powder. And the color fair light. By the way, this is from what and wild. Next, we're going in with the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, Dulce de Leche. There we go, in with the brown. Next, we're going in with the next concealer, HD concealer, in the color CW.
I'm gonna get this lighter shade from the Wet n Wild contouring palette. Maybe you can just set the eyes. Okay, now we're gonna comb this stuff off. Gonna do that. Okay. Next, we're gonna use this blush in the color T Bro 08 from Milani. Looks like a flower. Let's see. Come on. Okay, rub a little bit off. And there we go. I use this to blend it in. Just so it doesn't look too harsh. Okay. Then we're gonna try this highlighter right here that comes in the palette and the Bright and Brighter Zombie palette dolls. So we're gonna use that highlighter. I'm gonna use this. It's supposed to be setting brush. I use it as a highlighting brush. I like it. I'm going to put this right on top right there. Okay. And my palette color right there. Oops. I usually don't do my eyebrows. I just clean it up. Take out all the dust that was there. Just leave it. I don't, I don't like Doing much of it. Okay, next we're gonna do lipstick. I'm gonna take off the lip balm I use. Just make sure my lips aren't chapping. We're going in with my favorite, one of my favorite lipsticks now. The Makeup Monster Liquid Lipstick in the color Vintage Avenue. Can you see it right there? And so I'm wanting to focus. Oh, yeah, that's Vintage Avenue. And that's it. Then after this, we are putting my setting powder because I have the lipstick, I have everything. We're putting my setting mist. If I said setting powder, I'm sorry, I'm just super tired. I'm putting in my setting mist by Kat Von D. Okay, guys, well, this is the final look. I'll put pictures, insert them so y'all can see because I know sliding is horrible. And... If y'all didn't see me touch my other side of the face, it's because the other side I was doing it in Spanish. And yeah, again, the palette I used was the Pride and Prejudice Zombie palette. And sorry about my hair. I just took a shower, so it's wet. And I'm trying not to get it everywhere, you know? So this is it. I will, I will take pictures. I hope y'all like it. I try to do more of an affordable. Now there was my Kat Von D primer and a setting mist, but besides that, I try to go as affordable as I could. Well, thank you guys. I almost forgot to say fashion needs to subscribe and like this video. I would greatly appreciate it if you can at least get us to 100 subscribers. Please share this video. 